Find the best diamond here.
Later, Jack and Joe are in the tower. They're gonna blow it up. Fuck. You can't let that happen. The tower's mined. Try and disarm the charges. Fast. Give 
me the detonator, Jack. No, we were supposed to take tribute. Just collect money. Jack, give it back. They'll get what they deserve. They will die. Jack, I'm warning you. After all. We can negotiate. Jack holes or the PK. They'll be on us the moment we come down from here, buddy. Fuck, we lost it, man. We lost it. Get right in. That's why it's time for fireworks. Nobody's getting out alive. Joe, I don't want to die, you asshole. Hey, who's there? Stop! Or we'll blow the goddamn tower, I swear! I found the bombs. Let's talk. The time for talking is over. We're gonna fuck this place up. You're not listening. You're done. I want it to be over. And to leave the city safely. Now help me, and I'll help you. You're fooling yourself, Jack. Nobody's letting us out of here alive. Look, I am a pilgrim. Let's just blow it up already. I dare you. I know you won't do it. Don't listen to him, Jack. It's over. Fuck it up! I don't know. I'm scared. Joe, wait. Joe, hey, isn't that the Pilgrim who showed up at the bazaar recently? Maybe. Pilgrim or Poe? So what? Don't you get it? If he's a Pilgrim, he can get us out. Lead us out of the city to someplace safe. I don't trust that fucker. You don't trust anyone! I told you to play nice with Barney when we had the chance! Fucking listen to me for once! Well, play nice with Barney? What for? To make him get the fuck out of the bazaar. After what we found out from the peacekeepers. We tipped off the fucker. Gave him a chance to run. But he thought he was too clever for that. They warned Barney. About what? Well, about Lucas wanting to take him in on weapons charges, among others. But set a trap for him for weeks. And instead of politely getting the fuck out of here, he tried to play cute instead. So... Barney knew Lucas was after him. The moron wanted to start a war in old Villador. And you ask me, war's the last thing we need. Money, crystals, that's a different story. That's why I tried to put an end to that rabbit dog and his sister. So, Pilgrim, will you get us out of the city or what? Calm down, Joe. I won't fucking calm down. Get us out of the city, Pilgrim. To the nearest safe settlement. And no one will die here. I can get you out of town, but first I have my own business. Hide somewhere and wait. Sounds like a huge risk. No risk, no gain. He's lying, Jack. There's no other way. Fuck! I don't like it. I fucking don't. But okay, we'll be waiting for you in the tunnels near the Tango Motel. 
We'll give you a signal when we get there. Good choice. Now give me the detonator, Jack. So what now, Aiden? Smart guy. Who gets control of the water? Hack on. Aiden, where the fuck are you? Barney knew Lucas was trying to capture him. Jack and Joe warned him. He could have avoided the trap, but he went into it anyway. That's when Lucas was killed. Maybe we should check out Barney's hideout at the Hotel Tango. I'll make sure the place is safe.
place is a pigsty. No proof. Here's something. Man, what the hell? Oh, fuck! That's... That's human skin! Hakon, I found the tattoo they cut out of Lucas. Damn freaks. What? Yeah. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Get the hell out of there! We dead ain't Oren. Why are you going through my sister's stuff? Didn't know they were hiring pilgrims as housekeepers in this hole. Are you shedding skin, Barney? What the fuck is... We didn't... A little piece of Lucas to remember him by, you sicko? Fuck you. Nice try. But that ain't mine. I'll kill you, you son of a bitch! <sighs> Take that, Pilgrim! Where's the girl? She wasn't here. She hasn't shown her face anywhere for a good couple of hours. D do you know what it means? He wanted to show off. Son of a bitch wanted to prove that he killed Lucas. So you're a cannibal now or some shit, Barney? It wasn't me! It's him! He framed me! Okay, we're taking him to the station. He'll give us the whole story soon enough. You did good, Aiden. Meet me in my office. Time to fulfill my end of the deal. Soldier. Where'd you get the idea? Your sick head? Or from your little sister? Fuck you! I hated the guy more than most. But even I'm not stupid enough to have killed him. You know, whenever I catch someone, even red-handed, they deny it till the very end. Maybe you are stupid enough to have done that. Maybe you're a moron, even. <laughs> you're trying to piss me off, so I kill you right here. No, 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 no. That's not my game. You're going to be tried and convicted. Why did you carve out his tattoo? I'm telling you, I don't know because I didn't do it. I go crazy sometimes, sure, but I ain't no fucking psycho. 
Oh, you're the biggest psycho I know. I bet someone ordered you to kill Lucas and you had to bring them proof. Simple. Focus, you fucking PK. I told you, it wasn't me, understand? Prove it. Fuck! Even I know asking me to prove a negative means you got nothing. Don't they teach you that in PK school, you fucking fuck? Waste of time. So you kill Lucas. What happens next? I don't know, asshole. Because I didn't do it. If I hurt me, then I'll take revenge. But I'm not a cold-blooded killer. Forget it, Aiden. Punks like him just want to cause chaos, their favorite flavor. We're done here. This idiot won't tell the truth. Why would I lie? I have less to gain by lying to you than I did if I'd killed Lucas. Which I didn't. Don't expect rational thought from anyone who needs a separate brain just to control his sphincter. You're the one talking out of his asshole. Give me a fucking break. This piece of skin is evidence. Solid evidence. Let's not waste any more time on this piece of garbage, Aiden. He'll get a trial, followed by a death sentence soon enough. What about our agreement? It still stands. Go to the Metro Tunnels. I'll meet you there after we've disposed of Barney. But there's one more thing. I need a favor. Well? Once you get to the center, my wife and kids are there. Will you give them something for me? And tell them that I'm safe? You don't have anyone you trust more to handle this for you? Maybe I don't. As long as this isn't arsenic and you're not setting me up. It's not. The address is on it. You a beekeeper or a brewer? I'm both. That's the secret of my double bark. You must have noticed most beer in this town tastes like piss. Well, you're not wrong. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Nobody cares about taste anymore. Does that surprise you? The truth is, so-called brewers nowadays are damn amateurs. <laughs> and you're a pro, I gather. You bet. And it's an excellent time for my trade. Demand for beer is higher than ever. Brewers are in the top ten most stable jobs in this city. Right after the Undertakers? <laughs> right. <laughs> nice one. As for me, I'm dedicated to nurturing my yeast. And my bees. Your bees? Yup. You know what the secret ingredient is to brewing the best beer in town? Besides love, of course. I'm guessing you're about to tell me. Honey. And to harvest the best kind of honey, you need the best fed bees. Speaking of which, maybe you could help me with my bees. Feed them some sugar? I have my own special beehives in the area. Put them up high to keep them out of reach of those who steal my honey. I can try. Where exactly are these beehives? First, you need to find the bags of sugar I've left nearby to feed them. If you find the bags, you'll find the beehives. There are three of them all close to each other. The first one is on a rooftop just nearby. If you look towards the main terminal, you can see it from here. The second is on the rooftop of the main terminal building, below this big tower covered with a peacekeeper's banner. And the third one is on the top of the main terminal station, just beside one of the statues. Please do it quickly. Business is so brisk I've neglected them lately. Oh, they're probably starving. I guess I'm more of a brewer than a beekeeper after all. Oh, a bag of sugar. I can save Barack's bees from starvation. Keep your eyes peeled.
I hear the master brewer found enough hops to make a batch of IPA this week. Third bag of sugar. That should take the sting out. <laughs> yeah. Mission almost complete.
I sure hope they got enough power to keep the beer cold this time. Hurry up, man. Done. Your bees are gonna live. Fantastic news! Thank you. Here's a souvenir for your effort. And if you're ever in the neighborhood again, you could still help me. My bees have voracious appetites. The bunch is our greatest enemy. He's responsible for the Black Monday bombings and the... Jeez, what's with the tantrum, guy? Life sucks. It's that simple. Hey, well, what happened? Back in the good old days, there were holes all around here. Infected would come out every night and attack the station. Ah, good times. You see, we knew exactly where they were gonna come out. So killing them was easy. Fish in a barrel easy. Shooting gallery shenanigans every night. Me and my buddies would be on who could take out the most. We drank and blew off steam. <laughs> Sometimes we test weapons on virals. Those were our special nights, you know? Oh, sounds like a hoot and a holler. Right, but shit, it's over. The lieutenant ordered all doors within a few kilometers nailed shut and all holes boarded up. Although, don't tell anyone, a new hole appeared recently and we got virals coming out of it. Clawed their way through the wall of a toilet stall. <laughs> Talk about shit backing up. Oh, great. When the lieutenant notices it, we'll have to board it up. But for now, I happen to have a special weapon to test. But neither I nor any of my buddies want the lieutenant to catch us using it. But you, if you want, you can test it. At least before they board the shitter up again. So this is a limited time offer then? Ooh. Just be careful. The virals coming from that place smell... Well, like shit. But you look like you can stand the stink. Go ahead next door and grab the weapon to start the fun.
You got some skills. You gotta feel it more in your blood, though. Keep trying, won't you? <laughs>